You know what this is? The Big Bang. And you know what? It never happened. All those scientists who spend their entire lives researching that stupid goddamn theory have wasted their lives because the Big Bang never happened. The Big Bang Theory is all false. No, the Big Bang did happen. Says who? Says me! I'm the coast of Albert Einstein. What? Whoa, what the hell is that? <sighs> Stupid nightmare. I don't know what I was saying in that dream. I was I was offending all those diligent and hardworking scientists who spent their entire lives researching the Big Bang. Such a beautifully constructed theory. But you know what guys? One thing that I said in my dream might actually be true. The Big Bang might have actually never happened. Wait, what? How can such a famous and well-constructed theory suddenly go down the drain? Well, let's find out. The Big Bang Theory's journey down the drain all boils down to an astronomical finding known as the Lorimer Burst. The Lorimer Burst was an intense radio signal discovered by Duncan Lorimer and his student David Narkovic. It suggested that the Big Bang did not happen. Yeah, you heard me right. This small burst of radio waves suggests that the Big Bang never happened. But what exactly was it and how did it all happen? Well, it was gone almost as soon as it came. So it's hardly surprising that we didn't even notice it. Only in 2007, six years after the event, did Duncan Lorimer at West Virginia University and his student David Narkevich spot it. They were scouring through archive data from the Parkes Radio Telescope in New South Wales, Australia, when they noticed a burst of radio waves almost, of almost unimaginable ferocity. Lasting less than 5 milliseconds, it hit Earth on 24th of July 2001 releasing roughly as much energy as the sun releases over five days. So how on earth does a five millisecond long burst of radio waves suggest that the Big Bang did not occur? Well, the answer lies in Einstein's theory of general relativity. Now, I know most of you would think about general relativity as just a bunch of boring, daft equations. Well, we're not going to look at those equations today. We're just going to focus on the simple side, so you can say goodbye to the equations for now. First of all, we need to learn about singularities. Singularities are infinitely dense points in space-time with no length or width. They occur when Einstein's equations stop making sense. So, basically, singularities are points in space with lots of stuff in them, and they have no size at all. Doesn't make sense, does it? Well, it's just the way it is. Black holes, which have singularities, can transform into white holes when space-time pressure overcomes gravity's pressure. In simple words, so, black holes are kept together by gravity. They suck stuff in because of gravity. And when the pressure of the space-time around them is larger than the pressure of gravity, well, they become a white hole, which means that they, instead of sucking stuff in, they begin throwing stuff out, an exact opposite of a black hole. And in a theory known as loop quantum gravity, white holes, which form when black holes bounce back, emit the same kind of fast radio bursts as the Lorimer burst. And here's the thing, the Big Bang is a singularity too. What's more, the structure of the singularity inside black holes is not very different from the one at the Big Bang. If black holes do bounce, 
it is highly probable that the universe did too. Rather than emerging from nothing, perhaps the universe we know formed when a previous one contracted until it could shrink no more, and then, boing! The lesson of fast radio bursts could be that the beginning was anything but the beginning. So in simple words, the Big Bang was not a Big Bang, but rather a Big Bounce. And that is exactly how the Lorimer burst suggests that the Big Bang actually never happened. What do you think about it? Do you think the Big Bang happened? Let us know in the comments. And that, my friend, marks the end of yet another amazing Science Wiz video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Hey, person watching the video, I want to tell you something, so don't stop the video yet. Me and my brother Yash are working on a movie. We're making a movie together with the collaboration of a few other people called The Devil's Trapdoor. It will be a must-watch horror movie that you just have to watch. It's too good to miss. Now, because it's not science-related, and this is a science YouTube channel, it's gonna be released on a, new, on a new channel, on a different channel, called Yash Himale Studios. Why? Well, just in case you didn't know, my name's Himale, and my brother's name is Yash, and when you mix the two together, what do you get? Yash Himale Studios. Yash Himale Studios. So, save the date. 21st of October is the release date. 21st of October this year. And closer to the release date, someday, we're going to put a video on this channel which is going to give you the link of Yashimala Studios, the new channel, which is going to be made in the future. So, don't forget to watch The Devil's Trapdoor, or as I'll make sure that the devil's spirits wipe you off the face of this planet. But wait guys, before you stop the video, don't forget to check out our website, which is the science whiz, not the science shiz, the science whiz, .wixsite.com slash the science whiz. I know it's a very long URL, but guys, I just couldn't change it. Very sorry about that. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.